Hey everybody, welcome back to Twilight Princess. In this part, we are going to do um some side quests more. Give me one second, I want to make sure I'm saying with video. Okay, it looks like it is. Anyway, in the last part, we got done with the um Goron side quest and then uh yeah. I think really the only thing we're going to do in this part is get, um, is probably go look for some mo more stuff that I've been neglecting to go to. Um, I know one of them is a light cavern, but I have no idea where it's at, so I hope I can find it. Okay, so now, let's get over here so we can, wow, I didn't even mean to do that, come on, break it, break it, <laughs> screw it, let's just warp, and let's go to, um, uh... yeah, let's just go to Castle Town, nah, there's probably something there we can do, I don't know. I'll be right back. Never mind. Dang it. One of my family members just walked in. Wait, what? Oh, this is about the new market. It's funny how he's not even going to ask us. Oh, what's that thing surrounding Hyrule Castle? I am not kidding you. There is only one person in that whole town that knows that it, that, that it happened. And it's kind of funny. Hawaiians are not that dumb. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, uh, one of my family members came in. God, I, I tell him not to come in when I'm recording. Just bucks the crap out of me. Alright, you know what? You know what? Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. We are going to the Gerudo Desert. I'm done with this. I want to move on. I'm tired of doing all these side quests. Sorry guys, but I will go do the rest of the puzzles later. But now, I just really want to start the next dungeon. I mean, I started this at part 52. This is still going on, okay? Thank you. Now, there's still going to be two... There's going to be about three or two more things I'm going to do before I head to the next dungeon. Um, which I'll probably do that in a, about... I'd say two parts, I'd say. Because for the rest of this part, it's basically going to be me going through the rest of this. Let's skip this stupid cutscene. And here's the Gerudo Desert. Guys, this place is huge. I am not lying. Wait, Link. Alright. Now here you will get another preview of the uh Twilight Palace, I think that's the name of it. Now, a lot of people hate this dungeon. I can understand why, to an extent, but the dungeon's not that bad. I mean, there are probably two, well, one enemy in particular that I really do hate, 
And no, it is not the hand for people who have already played ahead, who have beaten the game before. It is not that hand. That thing is the least of my troubles. Holy crap, she's a descendant. Yeah, Midna has some cool stuff late, late, like very end of the game. Again, you get to see the Shadow Beast that you never fight. The one that has like a two, I don't know. It's like the one that has a still silver part for a head. I gotta say, Xan is a psycho. When we fight him, you'll understand why I really do hate Xan. My least favorite boss um, to actually fight at the end of a dungeon is probably well the one at um the twilight i mean the the one at the next dungeon is my favorite which i can't wait to do it's not the best dungeon but it has my favorite boss and um the one in snow peak ruins isn't that bad i can admit that the boss is kind of fun morfield can be kind of a pain in the butt um zant's not that bad final boss still not he's actually pretty easy um, the one city in the sky, it's pretty easy, the one in Temple, okay, the one, uh, Morfield, Morfield's my least favorite boss, that's, that's really what I've come down to, cause the, alright, those things are mold worms, those things will not hurt you one so bit, well they will pop out of the ground from time to time, by the way, there are two golden bugs in the Gerudo Desert, so is a pole soul. And we will be coming back here. Now, one of the golden bugs, I think I know where it's at. Uh, just I'm just following the scent because I can kind of see something on my TV glowing in the distance. And I think that's one of the golden bugs. Yep, there it is. Don't worry about mold worms. They're really not annoying. In the next dungeon, they're annoying. In one room. But after that, they're not that bad. Like, mold worms in... Arbiter's Grounds, is, they're kind of annoying. Overworld, not so much, because you can just... They're so easy to kill. Speaking of mold worms, uh... No way, I'm, that's different. I was thinking the Mulgara from uh, Wind Waker, which I did post his boss battle theme, because that's my... That's without a doubt my favorite boss battle theme from a Zelda game, is uh, Morfield's uh, boss theme. Which, really, I've been kind of talking to my friends about Zelda soundtracks and which one's their favorite. I've had people tell me, you know, Bajor's Mask has a good soundtrack. Um, some of them like Manish Cap. And I gotta say, my favorite Zelda soundtrack is Wind Waker. There's not a doubt in my mind that it does not have the best soundtrack. By the way, this is a pea hat. <coughs> they are not enemies in this game. All they do is uh, carry you. Now, this is just going to be a fight. Now, I know Wind Waker gets bashed a lot because of the way it looks called cartoony. Whatever, that's just their way of saying that they didn't enjoy the game. Because the game, without a doubt, is probably either my second or third uh, favorite Zelda game. Because it's hard to choose between Ocarina of Time and Wind Waker for me. Because Minish Cap is definitely... Uh, after those two. This Minish Cap was without a doubt one of the funnest handheld Zelda games I've ever played. And I'm actually thinking about going back and redoing that playthrough because a long time ago I did attempt to do a playthrough on, it on an emulator and I just said forget it because I, I wasn't updating it much. But now that I'm going back and playing it, I'm really thinking about going back and uh, trying to actually do it. But don't count that as a guarantee, but it is a fun Zelda game. That none, No matter what anyone says, that will always be my fourth favorite Zelda game. Fifth would probably be Majora's Mask. Dun, 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 dun. See you guys in the next part, where we transport this mysterious item.